Introducing Astro Catalog Viewer by Paul Spinelli. If you've been looking for uh, like a Messier catalog or an NGC catalog that you could populate with your own data, I mean, this is this is it. Welcome to SETI Astro. So I first became aware of this uh, project uh, on the Facebook SETI Astro users group, which I didn't even know existed, uh, you know, a month ago. Uh, but so this is where I first saw it. And it's just such a fun little project I wanted to share with everybody. And I included an export feature right into SETI Astro Suite Pro in support of the Astro Catalog Viewer. Uh, so that way you could take your image in SETI Astro Suite Pro and just export it to the, the folder needed for this. But here's the GitHub. I have links for all this in the video description. It kind of talks about the project, how to utilize it, different features about it. If you don't want to run from the source, uh, you could look under releases and it's up to uh, 1.3.5 beta and it actually has installers and you can see it's supported by Linux, Mac and Windows. So really awesome that Paul was able to get all three OS's in here so everybody could utilize it. I'll show you on the Windows one, show you how the export feature works in Sedia Suite Pro in conjunction with Astro Catalog Viewer. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna go ahead and download the uh, the Windows version. When you first run it, you're gonna get the, the protection thing. I'm just gonna say run anyway. You're gonna get a welcome message with some instructions on utilizing the software. You can click don't show it again if you want. Okay, when you get it open, uh, yours will be probably completely blank. And there is some stuff over in the upper right. You're gonna to wanna to go to settings. And then uh, you could enter your lat and long. That's going to help the software tell you when the best month is to view one of these objects. So that is kind of optional if you want to put that in your settings. There's a master image folder and this one is just going to recursively look down through all of them and uh, try to find any images in there. Uh, you could also separate all your image folders per catalog. So all I did was make a Astro Catalog Viewer ACV folder on one of my drives and then I put a Messier, NGC, IC and Caldwell folders in there too just to, to keep things organized on my end as well be sure you click save on the settings otherwise it won't save it if you click cancel none of the stuff you put in here will be saved and now you can go ahead and actually put images in and they'll populate in here so i already put in my andromeda and i put in multiple andromedas so i have my full LRGB HSO image in here, and then just the LRGB starless image as well. When you have multiple images in there, you can choose which one is gonna be your thumbnail off to the left. You can just click set as thumbnail. I also put in M57. And over on the, the preview, you could zoom in, do all, you know, zoom in, zoom out. You could write notes over here. If you click more information, it's gonna take you to the Wikipedia page on it. The other thing you can do is if you click wiki thumbnails, it's gonna start populating the catalog with any uh, Wikipedia thumbnails it finds for any of these particular objects. It allows you to look at all your different catalogs off to the left. I have it on Messier right now, but you can click all, or NG, NGC is huge, right? Obviously it's, it's huge. And this is still a, a beta, it's early days for this. So a lot of the stuff's still in progress. If you wanna help support Paul, there's a, there's a buy me a coffee link. Same with in the, uh, the about section. There's also like a status for the captured ones, all the ones you're missing, and then even suggested, which are the, the ones that are suggested right now for imaging. I think it's just a, a fun layout for all your, your cataloged images. I've never uh, like cataloged any of my stuff before. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of that. So let's show you how to go ahead and put your images in here now. So here I have an old folder of uh, M16, and I also have my folder for the Messier folder that I, I told settings where everything was gonna be sitting at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy my image over here. So I'm just gonna label this one M16. And now that it's in the Messier folder, if I just click refresh, you're gonna see it populate over here. Now you can click on it and, and, and it's in your catalog. And if you have multiple 
images you want of the particular target, like I did with M31 here. Just, I have M31 and then M31 LRGB. And then when you have it in your catalog here, you'll see like a two, which is how many images you have there. And then you can use the left and right arrows to move between your multiple images on that target. Also, if you have one that has multiple Messier objects in it, like for me, this is M58, M89, and M90. If that's in the folder and you click refresh, because it does look through them, it, it finds it and puts them all in the correct uh, catalog spot for you. So now the next thing to do is show how this is incorporated in with SETI S Suite Pro. So the ACV exporter was introduced in version 1.6.7. So be sure you have the latest version because that is the latest version. Now this is gonna be useful when you're processing your image and you've reached the end and you wanna add it to your catalog. In my case, I'm just gonna pretend I just finished uh, processing the Crocsi Galaxy here, M94. Under header mods and miscellaneous, you'll now find the Astro Catalog Viewer Exporter. And it's a really simple interface. You can, it's, it's just the same folders from settings in the Astro, in the Astro Catalog Viewer. Here's the settings, here's the master folder, Messi NGC IC. And they'll be the same ones that you could put in here. So I can browse for like the NGC folder, the IC folder, and the Caldwell folder. So now those are all in there. And this is M94. That's all the more you need to type in. Uh, you could choose your file type, JPEG, PNG, TIFF. These are the file types that work with the Astro Catalog Viewer. I'll just do a JPEG. And I'm gonna say export. And then it exports the image for you right to the, the folder you need. And then in the Astro Catalog Viewer, I'm just gonna click refresh. And here it is, M94 in the catalog now. Now, yes, the exporter is just, it's just a save as, right? The, to, to put it in the right catalog for you. It is, it is a little smarter. Um, so if it starts with an M, it's gonna put it in the Messier one. If it starts with NGC, it'll go in that folder. IC will go there. And if it starts with a C, it'll be Caldwell. There is some um, smarter guts to it. Like if your name is masked something, something, then it's just gonna put it in the master image folder. If, if it doesn't recognize the catalog, it's just gonna put it in the master image folder for you. Like if it's a sharpless object or something like that, it just goes in the master image folder. But it's just a quick way now uh, after you get done processing your image, you could open the Astro Catalog Viewer and just export it pretty much right away. Just type the name of the file you want in, hit export, it's going to save it in the folder for you. That way when you're viewing your catalog, you could start, you could start building this catalog out. Now I'm going to take some time and start populating my catalog here a little bit and um, see what I'm missing. And you know, it, it, it may give you some goals to try to achieve. And this is still this is still a beta. So if you're getting it now, you're in the cutting edge of it. Paul has joined uh, the SETI Astro Discord if you wanna reach out to him directly about questions, things you're seeing, things that aren't working. Um, I think that'll help him build this out really fast. And like I said, it's available for Linux, Mac, and Windows, which is just great. So if you've been looking for a cool little tool like this, I, I gotta recommend this. It's, it's pretty fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start building out my own little catalog here. If you wanna support Paul, he has a buy me a coffee or hop over to the Discord. Uh, he's joined my Discord now, so if you run into issues and problems, uh, be sure to go there. Again, this is, this is the beta, so there's gonna be a lot more coming with this uh, Astro Catalog viewer. Please comment, like, and subscribe.